Hey Leo, welcome to your general reading. This is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. Okay, so we have the first card. Seven of Swords. Lies, cheating, deception. This is very strong right now. Um, maybe even ghosts from the past here returning. Um, because I feel like this is something that haunts you, this deception. I mean, why wouldn't it anyway? You know, if somebody's lying, cheating, deceiving, it kind of haunts you here. Air signs as well here. Um, so let's get the other cards out here first. I just feel like it's a very haunting card that um, this deception, you know, it can't seem to leave your mind here or it just keeps coming back to haunt you. Three of Pentacles. So maybe you're trying to work it out with somebody who lied or deceived you here. Um, you're trying to work on it, but it just keeps, you know, coming back here. Um, you're just not quite over it yet. Maybe you want to work it out. You want to work through this. You're giving it your best shot. The Hermit. Yeah, you've been soul searching here, Leos. You've been doing it, you know, you've been reflecting a lot here. If you can see here her reflection. So I feel like you've been reflecting a lot maybe on um, a third party situation with these cards here. You know, looking for answers. I mean, if somebody cheated on you or you cheated on somebody here, um, don't blame yourself, you know. Um, but here I feel like, you know, a third party situation because as well in this seven of swords, there's three people. And with the three of pentacles here, I can't help but be drawn to that situation that, you know, there's three people involved here. It sent you soul searching, looking for answers, looking for truth and clarity. I mean, look at that Ace of Swords with the Hermit. I mean, have you ever seen it so present in a card? Looking for the truth, the meaning of life, looking for something else. Temperance. Okay, so this is a second chance. This is somebody wanting a second chance and maybe you having to figure out whether you want it or not here. I mean, this is having to tame that inner beast, isn't it, Leo's? Like that lion here. Look at her, she's like meditating. I mean, it's like this has taken all of you to be able to find this peace. I mean, you really had to look within here to find this peace. You need total transparency for this situation if you wanna work it out because look, she's transparent, so I just feel like you need total clarity here. Knave of Wands. So this could be somebody younger than you. Um, Page of Wands here. This is um, communication. So maybe you found out via text messaging or something like that. I mean, look at this card. Maybe you found out some text messaging about um, their deception and it's kicked off a lot of drama here, which it would, obviously. Um, but here I feel like this is new communication. Somebody wanting to talk, somebody now on their knees, like, I don't know what I did here. I don't know why I did what I did, but I did it. And it's, it could be you wanting these answers, wanting this clarity, wanting, 
you know, if they want to work it out, then I need answers to what happened, where we're going wrong, so we can sort of work on this. I need total transparency. Six of Cups, this is your soulmate here. This is somebody coming back from the past and either you or them wanting answers now. Could even be like the third party um, wanting answers here. But I feel like there's been an ending of the third party situation, no communication with the third party. If that was one of your questions here, I feel like um, they're not in communication anymore here. The death card, what did I say? There's an ending to that communication. It mirrors the page of wands. I feel they're not talking to the third party here and they want this renewal. I mean, this would have took you through a real transformation, real changes here that are gonna last and stay with you you know, an awakening, especially with the hermit, that's a lot learned through this situation. I mean, it would have been very painful, felt like a death, because it's the death of your ego, or the death of um, a part of you, you know, so you have to rebuild and find balance and strength here. Could be for some a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Virgo here, air signs here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Eight of Swords. I mean, look at this. This is some something you can't get out of your head. And I feel like they can't get out of their head. I mean, look at this Eight of Swords. If there was ever a card for, you know, not being able to get something out of your head, this is it. So maybe these questions you have, you need answers to before you can get this cheating episode here out of your head. So this person wanting to come back here wants to give you answers. There's a transformation here and I feel like you're gonna get answers. I don't know if you're gonna like them, but hey, there's a change in energy here with the death card. I mean, even look at the Six of Cups here. They have something in their head too. They just can't stop thinking about this. Um, they can't move forward from this. Both people still tied to this situation or feel, I mean, look at this Eight of Swords. Usually the Eight of Swords, somebody just thinks they're tied, but here her eyes are open. It's like, you know, I'm tied to this connection here maybe you have kids together because of um the page of wands here so maybe you have children together and that's why you feel stuck or tied to this situation this person wants to communicate about a second chance with temperance though i'll give you that heads up i mean they're coming back with the Six of Cups. This is somebody you have memories with. Very deep-rooted memories with this Six of Cups. Nine of Wands. Wow. Somebody's going to make an offer and it feels like here um, you're on the fence whether you should accept it. It's like I'm in fighting mode here. Um, so you could be blocked or you could have blocked them after finding out this. You know, after finding out they lied, cheated, you could have blocked them here. Um, her sword's down. So I feel like you're open to communication. Open to getting these answers to get out of your head before you could even think about working on it. Before you can even think about accepting this offer, I mean, you know nine of wands here so let's say we had the eight of wands and the ace of wands um you know you'd be open to movement with communication here but when it's coming up as nine of wands i feel like um there's a block at the moment you know there's a block at the moment and 
but it's it's like not going away the situation ended i feel maybe i definitely feel the third party situation has ended with the death card mirroring the page of wands maybe they cheated with somebody younger or um you know just your soulmate is younger than you here but i feel like you're ready to go on fighting you have the strength here to get through this what's happened but you just need clarity you need answers here two of wands yeah you'll be ready to make a decision once you get these answers you know a choice will be made here once you get this clarity good luck guys